So this week we're talking about how if we spend time meditating on Jesus's miracles, we can learn a lot about God and about ourselves. Today in particular, let's talk about how God cares about our everyday needs and joys. To illustrate that, we find an account in John chapter 2, verses 1 through 9, where Jesus is at a wedding. Typical Jewish weddings included a wedding feast, which varied in the number of days they lasted. And at this particular wedding, they ran out of one of the most critical ingredients of the celebration, the wine. And I love Mary, Jesus's mother, her positioning as we read this account. They run out of wine. She tells Jesus about it. And Jesus, his response is, it's not our problem. My time has not yet come. But then in verse five, we read, but his mother told the servants, do whatever he tells you. This is a woman who birthed him and raised him, who knows him probably better than anyone on the planet, right? And even though he appears to shrug it off, she knows. She knows with conviction that he cares about the needs and joys of these people. So she tells the servants just to listen to him. And he does it. He tells them to fill the jugs with water and he turns the water into wine so that they can continue their joyful celebration. And I think for us today, God cares about our joy. He cares about our needs and he wants us to come to him expectant, expectant like Mary, that he's going to meet those needs and bring us joy. Let's pray. God, thank you so much that you see us, that you know us, that you invite us into a relationship and you want good things for us. God, you want us to experience your joy. You've come to give us life more abundant. God, and full of joy. So thank you that we can come to you expectantly with our needs, God, and just expecting you to meet those needs and bring us joy like only you can. God, thank you so much for even this story, this account of Jesus turning the water into wine, God, so that we can know you're for us. God, thank you for Jesus. Thank you for loving us. It's in his name we pray. Amen. Guys, have an amazing day.